So here's my pool pump, and if you recall from the pool series end of the season last year, you'll remember that it was kind of humming and not wanting to start, and then it would, and then it still made this horrible sound and all kinds of great stuff. So we're going to take a look at it. So I could order the capacitor for it uh, before uh, before it's pool season. It's uh, it's beaten and well well worn. I'll move you down here. Sorry for the wind. It's windy, so it's like rusty-ish and paint's peeling off and all kinds of good stuff. So. Uh, in here is where we need to go. I went and I got a nut driver out. There's a nut or bolt on either side of that. But before we do that, because most people are going to say, oh, well, the capacitor is in here. So when I had to fix the cord on this, there's a link in the prescription to that video. Um, I had this back cover off. And I had reviewed that footage, oh, maybe a year ago. Or so not even less than a year ago might be something in here too start capacitor run capacitor maybe let's take a look just in case so there are no problems because if I'm doing it I'm gonna do it right and get both Aha! Looky there. There's a capacitor. Yeah. Uh, we should look at it. Does this fit? Yeah, it does. It only makes sense if it did, you know. I don't know how that went. It's a Mallory. I haven't seen one of those in a while. Manufactured in USA. Warning. Start capacitor may rupture if failure occurs. Replace cover before operating motor. Ha! Huh. Ain't that something? Maybe that's the start capacitor, and that's the run capacitor. I don't know. But I'm going to take a picture of that, and then we're going to open that up. And there it is. A made-in-USA Mallory-branded start capacitor. It says 124 to 148 microfarads, 125 volts AC, and that's really you know 50 60 hertz all that kind of great stuff it's all there and that is the start capacitor so we definitely need one of those but there is also the capacitor under that hump thing so we're also going to take a look at that all right let's take a look under here um should make sure that this screw doesn't go anywhere so i'll just sort of put it back a little. I could put it all the way back because yeah that's been on there. All right let's try the other one. Oh yeah. Whoa! Oh yeah, that's rusty, dusty, 
not goody. Whoa, orange cloud. There's uh, I think we lost the plastic because we're gonna lose it. Put it in there. Here's another plasticky thing. Put that in there. So that's got two wires on it. I'm not worried about these being charged because this thing has been off since the end of the pool season. Yeah, not the greatest. So I'm going to take a picture of that as well. And the label on this one is quite faded. Uh, this one looks to be CSC brand, doesn't really matter. 20 microfarads, plus or minus 8%, I think it says. 370 volts AC, 5060 hertz. Um, that's pretty much it. This one was made in Mexico, and this is the run capacitor for the unit. Uh, like I said, it's rusty, dusty and does not look very good so that also will definitely need to be replaced obviously I can't get any made in USA components anymore that's just how it is but hey this one was made in Mexico if it is original to the unit that's pushing right around 20 years old I would expect so uh, you know if I get two years out of the new one I guess pretty good all right, I guess we'll sort of put it back. Dirty. Very dirty. Conservationist was facing up. but the plastic thing. Oh, wind. A lot of wind. Not great. Very bad wind. Something like that. That should do fine. Okay, that's barely started. I get to line all this up yeah I do that's nifty that should kind of be it right there the cover is a little tricky out as soon as we try putting the screws in. Seems reasonable so far. And that'll do it. So armed now 
with pictures of faded labels that I have no idea what they say. I'm going to try to look at those pictures and see if I can distinguish any information. I did take a picture of the label on the motor itself because that might be helpful. Like, hey, I need capacitors for this. And I'll say, oh yeah, you need these. Oh, okay, good. And then I can cross-reference the values with the values. There we go. So anyway, now that I have the knowledge that I need, I can go and order up those parts. No idea what they're going to cost. I'm going to take a gander at 15 to 20 bucks each. I have a feeling it'll be less than that. But I'm not positive. I have no idea. I'm just totally guessing. And here is a picture of the motor itself. It is an A.O. Smith motor. I knew that for the longest time. Two horsepower. That's a pretty big one there. Interestingly enough, it can run on 115 or 120 volts. And then your 230 would be 240. Runs at 3450 RPM. 19.4 amps at 115 volts. That's uh, more than a 20 amp breaker would uh, be able to cover. So that's why it runs on 240 volts at 9.7 amps, 60 hertz, um, one phase, thermally protected to 50 degrees Celsius, continuous duty, assembled in Mexico. But again, pushing about 20 years old. So now with that knowledge, I went on Amazon and looked for some parts. I was not really able to find much regarding the model number of the pump, but uh, just kind of doing some blind searches here or there and armed with the uh, readings uh, of the um, old capacitors, I was able to find some. So I found a few things out. Uh, first things first is that you can always go with a higher value capacitor, but never lower. And I found this one from Bojack for the start capacitor. It's rated at 165 volts AC. The other was 125. That's fine. It's 124 to 149. The other was 124 to 148. So that should be a direct replacement, $12.10. So not bad on that one. And here is the run capacitor, exactly the same as what was in there. Uh, I saw that it was available in the same Bojack brand, so I figured why not keep it all the same. 20 microfarad, 370 volts, although it says 450 volts. So it is a little confusing that way, but allegedly it will take up to 450 volts not that that really matters because we're only dealing with 240 volts but either which way funny thing is when i first started searching i did not find a 20 microfarad in this brand only a 30 and in reading online it was the same as what they said for just about anything with the pool yes you can replace the capacitor with a higher capacitance but never lower and then other people were saying no you can't if it says 20 it has to be 20 it can't be anything but 20 22 i don't know that's kind of pushing it i i really wouldn't do that you know but uh, no you could put in a 40 if you want it's not going to hurt anything no it has to be a 20 you know and it's all over the place and nobody has the right answer but uh, it had a 20 in there, so I'm putting a 20 back. It lasted all these years. And, you know, like I said, if it lasts for two years on the new one, then we're all set. And that was $11.90. So I was pretty close on the mark. I said 15 to 20 bucks, maybe a bit less. And indeed, it was a bit less. So for a little over 20 bucks, I got two new capacitors for the pull pump. But uh, that's going to wrap this up, so I thank you very kindly for watching. I greatly appreciate it. Make sure you click like, make sure you click subscribe, and take care. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.